Yeah, I don't have a link or anything. And it'd be great if the 1,400 people watching live have someone to donate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So we're working on getting the the Bell PayPal account connected. All right. So there's a WePay legal account set up on the fly. It is www.wepay.com slash x v u d g u wepay.com slash x v u d g u again x v u d g you can go to, to donate money for a bail fund about to be a lot of money. People intend to occupy indefinitely. Unless physically removed as an act of civil disobedience, physically removed by police officers.
for those of you that might not know. Occupy Atlanta has renamed Woodruff Park Troy Davis Park in honor of the man that was murdered by the state of Georgia on September 21st, 2011 at 11.08 p.m. Again, these are our brothers and sisters that will continue the occupation. Just going to briefly check out the corner down here. Just briefly, I know the action's behind me, but. Turn on, check it out real quick. There's a news crew headed down here, so it might not hurt to follow. A few police officers standing on the corner. It does look as if the police cruisers up that street are on the move, so I will now head back who knows where they're going could be coming back they could be leaving we'll see uh, it seems as if they're doing some interviews with uh, all the, all the police left. down there yeah, there there's about 20 cops that pulled up here about five minutes ago yeah well there there were a lot more up yeah there. yeah i saw them but like like three cop cars came in parked all right there yeah. and they left i'm gonna go see what this is D C A N D I C E A C A N D A C E. Thank you. B Y R E. Forty seconds. Chief of staff. Go ahead. I'll just go right in. Gracias. I owe you one. Where are we located? Park and Edgewood. Exactly. On the side of Park. Okay. So here we got a news team and someone from the mayor's office. I'm not exactly sure what's up. Tom, we're on the other side of the park at Park and Edgewood, and this is Candace Bird. She is the uh, head of staff for the mayor's office, and she's going to give us a statement. Good evening, everyone. I am Candace Bird, chief of staff for Mayor of St. Earlier this evening, around 6 o'clock, we met with some representatives of Occupy Atlanta. During that meeting, we provided to them copies of the city's ordinance as it relates to the city's closure of all parks in the city of Atlanta at 11 o'clock. Later this evening, our commissioner of parks and recreation, public affairs, George Jerseyberry, passed out that same ordinance as it relates to the
I got a whole lot. But basically a representative from the mayor's a representative from the mayor's office just stated what was already known. They stated that uh, participants of Occupy Atlanta met with police chief Turner and his staff and there was a discussion about the enforcement of city ordinances. She, she restated the fact that the police intended to close all parks at 11 o'clock tonight. Right now it's 12.10, so they didn't do that. And that they intend to enforce city ordinances. They said that they would give occupiers a chance to leave and not be arrested if they so desire. So again, out here are the people who chose to leave and remain on the public sidewalk and not be arrested. And inside the park behind me right now are those that have chosen not to leave, even when provided with papers of the city ordinances that they are breaking. They are breaking these ordinances on purpose. It's the point of civil disobedience. And they continue to occupy. So what just happened was that uh, supporting crowd kind of mobbed on the press and uh, drowned out the sound of the mayor's representative the chance and support of those inside the park. Check back in with the occupiers. Uh, I read the sticker. Let them know that the mayor's representative just released a statement, basically restating what they already knew. So again, here are the occupiers. So a uh, representative from the mayor's office just spoke, and she basically just kind of said that, showed everyone the ordinances, and that the police intend to close the parks at 11, though it's now 12.15. And uh, I think she said that they still intend on enforcing it, but I don't know what's going on now. I mean, at this point, they back down, you know, but it's like yeah. a huge victory. We know they're yeah. on the ground. <laughs> I don't think they expected this kind of turnout. No, they did not. Hey, by the way, in addition to the hundreds of people here physically, there are 1,777 people watching the live stream. Yeah. 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 Uh, they're watching on Ustream.tv and our channel is Occupy Atlanta. No. How many? Oh, how many? Uh, like about 1,780 or so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, did she just restate basically like that they were, we were showing?